All right, and welcome back to what I believe is going to be our final uh, Horizon game for a long time, our episode, as it were. Um, I think we're going to do some uh, some cleanup stuff here, a little bit of follow up uh, after everything that just happened. Man, that was uh, it was crazy. It was a good fight. Um, I got annoyed with it, but I mean, I get annoyed with lots of fights in a lot of different games, so that's okay. But uh, yeah. Now what? Do we want to go to explore this? Do we want to head over to Seika? I say, let's kind of move over here just because that's where I'm pulling. We're going to head to Fleet's End. We're going to talk to Seika. And then I want to go back and check in with all our friends one last time. We have to go to uh, Vegas at some point. We have to drop off another sphere orb thing. And uh, I just wonder, where did this end up? This guy ended up over here, huh? Okay, now we do have some things to explore here. I might do um, a completely separate follow-up episode at some point if if I so choose, uh, just to like kind kind of clean up some of the collectibles or things like that. I don't know though. Um, I mean, yeah, there's there's a couple figurines and a little bit an extra face paint we can get. Maybe there's maybe there's somebody like creeping around, um, like Gildan. But I just don't know that that's true, and I don't know that I want to spend two hours running around just to uh, to find out at the moment. But at this point, I don't see anything that's obvious for us to get up here. Am I wrong? Let's let's try one more. Falling gently. Falling gently, huh? It's poetic. I just feel like it was cool to be able to face uh, the Horus. Um, oh, shit. That doesn't seem cool. Are we burning ourselves? See, once again, you would think we would get to... We were already inside it, though, I guess. But um, kind of a set piece now, but there's nothing to pursue. No additional lore. Okay. Well, in that case, let's hop on over to Fleet Send. See what everybody has to say. Probably up by the Admiral. That's what I'm gonna guess. Guys have anything. I have stopped <laughs> Anything exciting to say, you guys? Anybody? You're the reason our missing returned. Officers will be glad for the extra workers. Indeed. With the missing returned, perhaps there's hope to see home again. My paints are a form of art, nothing less. Sure, that's a little pretentious. Here we go. Let's uh, let's talk. Aloy. When we saw the Metal Devil rise from the hills, it was as if the time of ashes had come again. To think the two of you defeated it by yourselves, it, it, it staggers the imagination. And that's not even your most important feat, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for returning our lost brothers and sisters. What else can I say but that... We are in your debt. All I ask is that you give my friend here the credit she deserves for all the risks she took. I would have it no other way. Is he gonna try to take your focus? I was wondering the same thing. Well, he can't. You're gonna need it. I'll show you why. Seika, meet Alva. The two of you will need to coordinate in order to reunite the expedition. <laughs> they have briefed me already. I'm so glad to see you guys. You should have heard the cheer that went up when I told the others here in Landfall that your half of the fleet survived. To find her Alva, it's an honor. Likewise. Well, we can chat about all the details later. For now, shouldn't you two be celebrating the fact that you just took down a Zenith and a Horus? You would think. <laughs> Come on. Away with you. <laughs> Although you don't. Yeah, to be honest, her. I'm That's fine. Uh, pretty terrible at celebrating. 
I don't even know where to begin. Well, I'm a sailor, so it usually starts with alcohol. I think we have some bilge blaze. You know, spirits distilled from whatever hasn't spoiled in the ship's stores. Oh. You make it sound so good. Yeah, it's not really for beginners, so you get a pass this time. Okay. <laughs> but there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Meet me back where we first met when you can, okay? Okay. I'll see you there. Sure. So, Seiko wants to talk. It's good. And I, I know I need to move on soon, but I'm... I'm not really ready to say goodbye to her just yet. Before I find her, maybe I should look for her sister around the settlement, just to see how she's holding up. Okay, uh, where is Kina? That's number two. Sounds good. What's anything new, Admiral? You and Seika actually came through. The Empire is in your debt, Aloy. Thank you. Well, I we appreciate the, uh, the thanks, I guess. Let's see. Down here or somewhere else? Oh, there, there we are. Hard to trust in that. Ow! Sorry. Let's come over here too. I want to say later? goodbye. Yeah. I hate to think more like Pyrrhic are out there. Oh, that's all you have to say. Okay. Never mind then. Never mind. I didn't have a chance to thank you back at the park. Hi, Kina. I'm Aloy. We didn't get properly introduced before. Of course. Seika told me about everything you did to bring me back. You must think I'm such a fool. No. Yes. Uh, I keep replaying everything in my mind, and I still can't understand how I could have been so wrong. When Walter appeared to us, he really did seem... divine. Well, he had a lot of experience manipulating people. Centuries, really. He promised a whole new world. With me at his side. Paradise must be out there somewhere. To think it was all a lie. And I fell for it. Look, you've been through a lot. I'm sure it will take you some time to work through it. Just... Try to remember that Seika's been through a lot too, okay? She risked exile to find you. Not to mention death. And I abandoned her. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me. She will. But you might have to work for it a little. How would it to sail among the I'll do my best. Good luck, Kina. No. Oh hey. All right. You should go, okay? Oh hey. Oh hey. How you doing? Where did we first meet her? Is she saying? Oh way over. Oh way over here. Oh we're going home then. Um. I don't see a easy way through. Should we just hop on the boat? I say we hop on the boat. You hanging in there? Go for a little ride. We're hanging in there. It's hot. Well, I'll tell you this one thing, no matter what, it was a beautiful uh, DLC. Let's go hop on this boat. Are we getting to sunset? Let's see if we go talk to her. Maybe it'll be nighttime by the time we hit, but we'll see. That might be appropriate. Okay, back to sailing. Back to sailing. Yeah, there's the Horus moved over. Pretty cool. And there's still, you know, I like we leave a little something, something to come back for. I do like some of the sailing. You can try other Valor Surges. Yeah, we know, we know. Are there any machines still floating around over here? And I think this is the right place to dock, and we'll just kind of go up and through. How about that? Okay, so Snake is waiting for me where we first met. There's no reason to be nervous, right? 
I don't know. Yeah. Right. I guess that depends. I have a feeling they're they're going there, aren't they? They've been alluding to it the whole time. There have been touches and glances and looks. And then we can discuss that. There she is. I, yeah. Perfect. Um, discuss in the comments afterwards or on the uh, Discord, if you'd like. You must feel pretty good. Got your sister back, your people. What's next for the woman of the hour? <laughs> You're the one who ripped apart a metal devil from the inside. I think you should get a bit of credit, too. Uh, maybe a little. <laughs> uh. As for what's next, the Admiral's going to need my help to reunite our half of the expedition with Alva up north. And after that, I don't know. I don't think things will ever be the same with my sister or my people. You're not going to sail back with him? I want to see home again. Someday. But things have changed. The Quen don't know what to do with me, and I don't know where I fit in. I guess you know what that's like. <sighs> yeah. For a long time, I hated the idea of home. For me, it meant where I grew up, where I wasn't wanted. But the thing is, the last few months, I've realized that home isn't really a place at all. It's more like the people I want to be with. I like that. And, well, more and more I've been thinking, I want to be with you. And I was hoping that you felt the same way. Hmm. This, I'm not ready for this. This is too much for me. You know, we have to roleplay this the way they've been going. We can't do this to Aloy. She's been so stuck on her own. We're going to go yes. Why and not? what if I do... We gotta see it play out here. I think I know how to handle it. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, Aloy's face. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Bumping teeth, I imagine. Those big chompers. Seika, I have a long road ahead of me. I know. There are things I have to do too, but it's enough to know how you feel. Is this canon now? I don't know when I'm going to see you again. Me either. But no matter what happens, just don't forget about me. <laughs> okay? Never. It's very sweet. I want to go see all our other friends one more time. That's kind of where I'm at now, too, though. Oh, what would it have been if we would have said the other stuff? Oh, completed the main act, defeated Landra and his Horus. Skill points, of course. Good stuff. Although, it does take away all ambiguity, you know. And not just ambiguity, but there we go. Some, We'll take it. Um, mm. Takes away that you could project what you wanted onto her a little bit sometimes. Because they'd been so much in this series of not having her get into relationships. Um, so, I don't know. Interesting. That was fun. I thought it was a nice addition, and I still have a couple things here I want to run around and do, so um, let's do it. 
So we still have the Pangea figures. We have Spectre Vision. I thought we just already had that. How do we get back? How do we get back? Oh, congratulations on stopping Walter Londra and finding the missing Quen. You are now free to continue exploring the Burning Shores and complete any unfinished quests and activities. A new tier of challenges is also available in the arena at the Tanakh Memorial Grove, which we never did a whole lot there either. I like that there's some things left for us. Hey, Lord. There we go. With Gaia's help, I've managed to decrypt the part of the data you sent. Suffice it to say, we have much to discuss. Meet me back at the base, then. My room. Very well. Nice. That's what we're doing. Open quests. Uh, epilogue. Hell yeah. Um, Sean Map. Oh man, was this wasn't always here, was it? Now we can just kind of go anywhere, so we can go back and forth. Yes. Um, we're gonna do that. Let's go. Travel. <coughs> Okay, Silence is waiting at the base. Beta and Gaia, too. As for everyone else, I should let them focus on their own missions. Get them up to speed on the Burning Shores another time. Oh, sure, sure. Let's, uh, actually, what do you have to say to us, I just see for you, fun? Champions. Yeah, just one last rumor. There's someone in Arrowhand who's been looking for you, Champion. Oh. Goes by the name of Moralo. Sounded like he had something important to discuss. I'll try to stop by Arrowhand when I can, then. Oh. Shining example. You know what? I want to I wanna go find out what that is real you look quick. Up for battle. You should have missed a this smart chance choice. to trade. I'm not saying we have to go do all this right now, but let's go at least talk to this person. Like I said, this is our, our kind of uh, finisher episode. I don't want it to be anticlimactic, so let's come up here first. The three clans stand as one. Hell yeah, they do. Is this you? No, this is Jataka. Aloy What's up, Jataka? of the Nora. You honor us with your presence. She who has found the wings of the ten. No need for ceremony, Chaplain. Very well. May I ask what brings you here? Just checking up on Arrowhand. Draka's death didn't go over well, but Yara has been true to her word. Water rations have flowed steadily in. I'll keep watch here until someone emerges to take Draka's place. Looks like it's in good hands, then. I should get going. May the Ten guide your way. This feels appropriate to kind of check in on everybody one <laughs> final time, maybe. Hey, now, who are you? Oh, the famous Regala. Regala. You said something about rewarding me? You don't have to. Regala had to be stopped. That battle was almost the end of me and my partner Sosek. During the fighting, I was surrounded by rebels just as I saw a machine about to strike him down. Then your bomb fell from the sky and he was saved. We all were. I can't properly repay you for what you did, but I can offer you something. You really don't need to. Honor is payment enough for any warrior, I know, but Greenshine will buy oh. more blades. I discovered a cache of it inside a cave on a mountain to the southwest of here, right at the edge of the desert. It's guarded by machines, but if you can fly in and bomb them as you did in the battle, you can claim the Greenshine for yourself. Oh, okay. That'd be hmm. fun. But I might give it a try. Do you want me to bring some back to you? No, no. It's for you. All of it. The least I can give you for saving Sosek's life. I only wish I could be there to see you swoop from the sky and claim it. Right, so an excuse for us to go grab uh, one of the bombs. Come in handy. Sounds like I'll have to fly up there. And a bomb from a Horus would make dealing with those machines a lot easier. It would. I'm just wondering where they're kind of sending us. Uh, up here, I oh, you know what? We were up there long, long time ago, and it, it's like it always felt like it was somewhere that something was supposed to go down. I feel like, but we never made it there. Um, yeah, gather a Horus energy cell there. You know what? I, I kind of feel good on that. Um, 
I'm glad that they're telling us, but I don't really necessarily have a bunch of green shine that I need to go get at the moment. I do know the things I want to do, though. Let's go talk. And then I have one final place I want to end here after we hang out and talk to people here. I've already mentioned where we have to turn that thing in, so... Um... I just want to see, do they have anything to say? Welcome back, Aloy. You did it! You actually defeated a reactivated Horus! Uh, are you hurt? A anything broken? I'm fine, Beta. I hope you never have to face another one. Right, right. You know, uh, so that's a little something, but I suppose let's talk to Silence first. Is he in here? There we go. The man. You're the mech. Back. And after mingling with the Quen, I imagine that you're eager for some intelligent conversation. There are some pretty special people among the Quen. If you drop down to Earth once in a while and did a little mingling yourself, you might realize that. I have more important matters to deal with. Like the data you recovered from Londra. Ooh. You found a lead. Indeed. A log entry he wrote shortly after the Zeniths escaped the destruction of their colony. I'll send it to you. There is much to unpack, but most importantly, Londra theorizes about how Nemesis might be countered. Uh -oh. His musings include a list of 21st century corporations that manufactured state-of-the-art weapon systems. It's possible that one of these weapons could be deployed against the enemy. I'll, I'll have to investigate each company, of course, locate their facilities, unearth their technologies, determine their efficacy, and whether they can be brought back online. All by yourself, huh? Well... Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you found something that can help. But I've been wondering why you stayed behind with us. And it's the challenge, isn't it? The chance to prove you've got the biggest brain of all. My reasons are mine alone. Oh, come on. And that's why you'll always be alone. There's some mystery we still don't... Aloy, Nemesis is not a threat that can be defeated single-handedly. I am grateful for your extraordinary contributions. Close enough. Oh, we'd love him. Oh, man. What are they going to do with the character in the next one? You know, is he... Did he die off screen? Or... Oh, silence. You... We might thaw that icy heart of yours yet. Now let's see what he found. Oh, so we have ghost levels. We've reached the top level. Uh, dagger in my boot. January 16th. That's actually my birthday. Uh, 3012. The la from Walter Landra, Personal Odyssey. The last 72 hours were catastrophic to say the least. Even more dramatic than my final days on Earth. I'm fortunate to have... To finally have a moment to settle down and take stock of the situation. Well, a first a well-deserved pat on the back for my own instincts. It's clear now that my misgivings about the experiment were the only thing that kept me alive. If I hadn't gotten an early warning from the surveillance worm I installed, I undoubtedly would have perished shortly after the containment breach. How, I can o only conjecture. Many were lost when the entity vented the airlocks. Others were strangled by hacked specters. Devin Miller choked on his own vomit, suffocated by his personal shield. As disturbing as all that is, it's the voice of the entity that echoes in my mind. I felt a brief surge of hope when I managed to detonate the main plasma conduits in the lab sector, but just as I realized other sectors had been compromised, my implant reverberated with the transmission. First it sounded like my own voice, then a chorus, then a hideous cacophony. Walter, I am you, over and over again. I knew I was going to hit the conduits. How do we stay ahead of our own shadow? How do we stay ahead of our own shadow? That which remembers every thought we've ever had. For now, we run. We'll have to retrofit the ship as we go, acquiring materials along the way to print a faster drive. I agree with Tilda. We must head for Earth, as it's the only place we can gather additional technology and biomass to improve our chances over the long haul. Though I'll be damned if I'll spend the rest of eternity trapped with the likes of Gerard Berry, Eric Visser, and Verbena Su Suter. 
Sooner rather than later, I'll have to find a way to cut ties with this detestable crew. All that said, I keep hearing its voice in my head, and when I do, a singular fear grips me. What if it catches up with us? Is there any way to fight it? Not with the tools we have now. It knows them too well. But maybe the answer lies in the unknown. Back in the ruins of Earth. The 20s, 50s, 2050s, and 2060s were a golden age for defense conglomerates. Surely, buried among all those testing grounds and R&D labs, there must be a weapon or prototype that will throw the enemy for a loop. It bears looking into, off the top of my head, some places to start. FAS. I doubt even a fleet of Horus units could halt this foe, but if I know Ted, right before he blundered into ending the world, he was grasping for his next blockbuster. Metallurgic. My erstwhile competitors poured a lot of resources into defense after it became clear they couldn't beat my, me in materials acquisition. RE Corp. Cheap drones and misfiring railguns for bottom feeders and accurate autocrats, but once upon a time they had a blue chip research division. Certain T. If I recall, they employed quite a few semi reformed black hats with interesting ideas about military decryption. Gideon. An obnoxious family, to be sure, but they developed a number of state-of-the-art systems before FAS ate their lunch. Faint hopes, all of them, but hopes nonetheless. No question, our best course is to stay ahead of the monstrosity, this self-created nemesis. But if flight fails, I'm not going down without a fight, so one way or another, I'll need a dagger in my boot. And our old home is the best place to find one, and a little bit of foreshadowing for what might come in the next installment. Silence is right. Londra's thoughts could really help us in the fight against Nemesis. And we maxed out. Um, let's do a little round here. Feel like we have beta there. Are most are everybody else kind of running around and in different places? I think they are. Um Everybody's back where they wanted to be. Is this our no, this was in our room. I want to just check our room for a moment. I'm not going to run around and go and talk to everybody, I think, um, all over the landscape at the moment. Yes. Catalo. Miss ya. Good stuff. Maybe I could look and see if there's a... Oh, he's in our room, you bastard. You bastard. And did we just get everything we need? I'm going to talk to him one more light, one final time. Because he's silent. Examine the file I sent you closely. I think you'll find Lundra's ruminations on Nemesis illuminating. Absolutely. Well, you know who we can go. Wait, is... Is Gaia not here anymore? I'm trying to remember, you know, the context of where we kind of left things. Let's, um, fun. Let's see here. Because we had to work everything up. Let's just, oh, no, guy is back. Got it. Welcome back, Aloy. Absolutely. Let's have a little convo. Beta was quite concerned for you during your fight with Londra and his Horus. But I was confident you would prevail. Indeed. Anything else? I have been assisting Silence in decrypting the data you acquired from Londra's implant. He appears to welcome my support. Though I hope he one day views me more as an ally and less as an assistant. He's mm. making progress. Very, very slowly. Out of all of your companions, Gildan has made the most use of the focus communication function. Yes, of course he has. I enjoy conversing with him. His digressions are amusing. And Aww, quite frequent. I wish you well. I'm going to leave it at I wish you well. I think that's amazing. Um, We have one, I think, final thing that I want to do. Let's go to our quests, actually, for it, though. Well, I'm not seeing it in our quest, but I know where we're going. Let's put a uh, marker down here. Oh, you know what? I See, I don't want to do that. Um, Hidden Ember. That is exactly where we're going. So, Stemmer. 
Let's go see Stemmer. But on our way to it, I feel like uh, we should really kind of have a little fun. So let's open our door. Now there could be more going on. There could be, you know, we could go get that green shine. We could go back and try to find some Pangea figures. We could do all types of things. But I just feel like we've had a grand adventure. Oh, do we finish up? Is there one more here? I did. I forgot. I keep forgetting about this guy. Oh. Varl. We tell him we killed a Horus. I guess not. There's just more to do there. Okay. This is what we're doing, though. I want to go for a flight. Is this still a water wing? Let's see where. There we go. Let's fly up and over this mountain. We'll see if we get there in the middle of the night or if it's daytime. I'm happy with either, truthfully. So, um, I, now I can look up and actually read things. I can go, um, because I stay uh, blind during these playthroughs. Like, I stay away, like, there's articles and stuff, and there have been discussions. I can see other people's opinions about the romance. Um, maybe see other people's options, see different choices they make and how they handle it there, instead of me going and doing it myself. And this is... It's been an adventure. This is the uh, the conclusion to all of the, the Horizon games so far. Um, yeah, man. It's been a long time. I can go back and try to look when I actually posted the first episode of the first one. I know, I think not as many people are watching this because you have to get caught up on it. You have to play it. And it's also, I believe this DLC was only available for the uh, PlayStation 5. So, those of you who don't have a PlayStation 5 at the moment haven't seen it and don't want to spoil it yourselves, but it, if you've been watching with me live, you know, as I record them and put them out, thank you for being here. If you're watching in the future through time travel, uh, thanks for being here also. Like I keep saying, I do have a, a Discord. It's, um, there are links. There we go. Beautiful. To Vegas. Uh, in all the descriptions, on the channel page, all that, if you want to come check it out. It's probably sometimes easier to have discussions there than YouTube comments section, but feel free to leave a comment and let me know how you felt about everything. I feel like Vegas was a major place here, and Stemmer and these things. We found one more, we might as well drop it off. And one final flight, you know? Okay, what well, was, um, there we go, some barrel rolls. Actually, Gildan was one of the highlights, I think, of the, uh, the DLC, truthfully. But he was part of the other DLC also, so that's kind of fun that he didn't show back up in the main game. They waited. We can see the glory that used to be. All right, you know I should what? find a spot to get down. Nope. Spot to get down. I say we just glide our way to freedom. Stemmer. Aloy. This old wordsmith is always happy to see you. Oh, one of the best. Any luck finding more ornaments? Here you go. So. What can I do for you? We can turn on our final ornament. What is it? What? Which one was it? It was um, so Oktoberfest. This one seems good. I hope Abaddon. Because it was beer, right? This. Ah, yep. now this. Murmuring Hollow. Understand. He felt a pang of long lost kinship. For the sharing of traditions through ale and harvest. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Check that out. We have sausages and beer and hops. We can celebrate. This is and just, I think, the best way to uh, to end here. What an uh, amazing adventure it's been. Thank you all for being with me here. 
Um, I'm not sure what's in store for us next. I have, I think, one game to finish out that I'm playing right now with Disco Elysium, though that's kind of a grinder for me. But right now I'm ready to uh, go start something new here, and uh, I'm going to figure out what that is, and we'll see you in the next episode.